A notable feature of Turkish phonology is a system of vowel harmony that causes vowels in most words to be either front or back and either rounded, or unrounded. Stop consonants have palatal allophones before front vowels and velar allophones before back vowels. Consonants per meter p b are bilabial, whereas f v are labiodental. Some speakers realize f as bilabial when it occurs before the rounded vowels y u o o, as well as word finally after the rounded vowels v is realized as a bilabial approximant when between two vowels, with at least one of them being rounded. A bilabial fricative when before or after a rounded vowel, but not between between vowels. Some speakers have only one bilabial allophone and do not make the approximate fricative distinction. A labiodental fricative, which occurs elsewhere, n, t, d, s, z, a dental, l, is velarized dental, r, is alveolar, whereas l, is palatalized post-alveolar, before, c, j, k, g, n, is realized as velar. R is frequently devoiced word finally in before a voiceless consonant. According to one source, it is only realized as a modal tap intervocalically. Word initially a location R is restricted from occurring in native words. The constriction at the alveolar ridge narrows sufficiently to create frication but without making full contact. The same happens in word final position L and L are often also voiceless in the same environments. Syllable initial P, T, C, K are usually aspirated. T, D are affricates, not plosives. They have nevertheless been placed in the table in that manner to save space. Final power hour may be fronted to a voiceless velar fricative. It may be fronted even further after front vowels, then tending towards a voiceless palatal fricative. Dot. In native Turkic words, the velar consonants K are palatalized to when adjacent to the front vowels E, I, O, Y. Similarly, the consonant L is realized as a clear elite next to front vowels and as a velarized next to the central and back vowels A, O, U. These alternations are not indicated orthographically. The same letters K, G, and L are used for both pronunciations. In foreign borrowings and proper nouns, however, these distinct realizations of K, L are contrasted. In particular, and clear is sometimes found in conjunction with the vowels and. This pronunciation can be indicated by adding a circumflex accent over the vowel, e.g. Gavur, Mark. Lazim, although this diacritic's usage has been increasingly archaic. B, D, D, J, a D voice to word and morpheme finally, as well as before a consonant ed M E J is pronounced. Dot. When a vowel is added to nouns ending with post-vocalic, it is lenited to G. This is also reflected in the orthography. In addition, there is a debatable phoneme, called U Mu Sak G in written G, which only occurs after a vowel. It is sometimes transcribed per meter, or between back vowels, it may be silent a sound like a bilabial glide. Between front vowels, it is either silent it has a sound, depending on the preceding and following vowels. When not between vowels, it is generally realized as vowel length, lengthening the preceding vowel, or as a slight if preceded by a front vowel. According to Zimmer and Amp, or Gun, who transcribe this sound as before front vowels, it is an approximant, either front velar or palatal. Word finally and pre-consonantally, it lengthens the preceding Preceding vowel. Intervocalic is phonetically zero. Dot. Before the loss of this sound, Turkish did not allow vowel sequences in native words, and today the letter G serves largely to indicate vowel length and vowel sequences where per meter once occurred. Phonotactics Turkish phonotactics are very simple, and it can be described as CV2. 
Although Turkish words can take two final consonants, the possibilities are limited. Turkish only allows complex onsets in a few recent English, French and Italian loanwords, such as France plan, program, propaganda, strategy, stress, sterile and tren. Even in these words, the complex onsets are only pronounced as such in very careful speech. Some loan words add a vowel in front of them to break the complex onset. For example, the French station was borrowed as is to see into Turkish. All syllables have a nucleus. No diphthongs. No onset per meter. No complex onsets. No B, D, D, J, G, in coda, except for five contrasting single syllable words. In a complex coda, the first consonant is either a voiceless fricative R or L, the second consonant must be a voiceless plosive. Two adjacent plosives and fricatives must share voicing, even when not in the same syllable. Consonant assimilation. Because of assimilation, an initial voiced consonant of a suffix is devoiced when the word it is attached to ends in a voiceless consonant. For example, the locative of sevis of d, but sef has locative sefta. The diminutive of ad is adsik, but it has diminutive achik. Vowels. The vowels of the Turkish language are, in their alphabetical order, a, e, i, i, o, o, u, u. There are no diphthongs in Turkish and when two vowels come together, which only occurs in some loan words, each vowel retains its individual sound, e, o, o, a phonetically mid. For simplicity, this article omits the lowering diacritic even in phonetic transcription. Most speakers lower e to before the coda p meter n l r so that parent summer salt is pronounced. There are a limited number of words, such as candy, self and hem, both which are pronounced with by some people and with by some others. Some scholars transcribe o as o. This article uses the former symbol for simplicity and because O has the same height as the other mid-vowels, E and O. A has been variously described as central and back. For simplicity, this article uses the diacritical symbol A, even in phonetic transcription. A is phonologically a back vowel, because it patterns with other back vowels in harmonic processes and the alternation of adjacent consonants. The vowel E plays the role as the front analog of A, I, Y, U, E, O, a lowered to in environments variously described as final open syllable of a phrase and word final. Dot. The vowel harmony with some exceptions. Native Turkish words incorporate either exclusively back vowels or exclusively front vowels, as, for example, in the words Karen Liktadla and Du and Silili Clarindan. OO only occur in the initial syllable. The Turkish vowel system can be considered as being three-dimensional, where vowels are characterized by three features, front, back, rounded, unrounded, and high, low, resulting in eight possible combinations, each corresponding to one Turkish vowel. As shown in the table, the vowel harmony of grammatical suffixes is realized through a chameleon-like quality, meaning that the vowels of suffixes change to harmonize with the vowel of the preceding syllable. According to the changeable vowel, there are two patterns, twofold. Frontality is preserved, that is, e appears following a front vowel and a appears following a back vowel. For example, the locative suffix is da after front vowels and da after back vowels. The notation da2 is shorthand for this pattern, fourfold. Both frontality and rounding are preserved. For example, the genitive suffix is in after unrounded front vowels, un after rounded front vowels, in after unrounded back vowels, and un after rounded back vowels. The notation in four can be this pattern's shorthand.
The vowel o does not occur in grammatical suffixes. In the isolated case o of o, in the verbal progressive suffix i for your it is immutable, breaking the vowel harmony such as in your i. Some examples illustrating the use of vowel harmony in Turkish with the copula dir for Turkir dir with an apostrophe because Turkir is a proper noun. Gunda, Kapadir, Paltoda, Dot. Compound words do not undergo vowel harmony in their constituent words as in Bugun and Baskand. The vowel harmony does not usually apply to loan words and some invariant and irregular suffixes, such as ki and ken. In the suffix c to bill, only the first vowel undergoes vowel harmony. There are a few native Turkish words that do not have vowel harmony such as an. In such words, suffixes harmonize with the final vowel as in andia. Suffixes added to foreign borrowings and proper nouns usually harmonize the vowel with the syllable immediately preceding the suffix. Amsterdam de parasite. Consonantal effects in most words, consonants in neutral are transparent and have no effect on vowel harmony. In borrowed vocabulary, however, back vowel harmony can be interrupted by the presence of a front consonant and in rarer cases, front vowel harmony can be reversed by the presence of a back consonant. For example, Arabic and French loanwords containing back vowels may nevertheless end in a clear instead of a velarized. Harmonizing suffix is added to such words contain front vowels. The table on the right gives some examples. Arabic loanwords ending in ka usually take front vowel suffixes if the origin is kath, but back vowel suffixes if the origin is qaf, e.g. adrakai versus fevki. Loanwords ending in a derived from Arabic tam arbatha take front vowel suffixes, e.g. sati, sahati. Words ending in a derived from the Arabic feminine plural ending at a from devoicing of Arabic dal take the expected back vowel suffixes, e.g. edabiyatai, maksat, maksadi. Front vowel suffixes are also used with many Arabic monosyllables containing a followed by two consonants, the second of which is a front consonant, e.g. hafi, harp, harbi. Some combinations of consonants give rise to vowel insertion, and in these cases the apenthetic vowel may also be front vowel, e.g. vakit and vakti from waqt, fikir and fikri from fikar. There is a tendency to eliminate these exceptional consonantal effects and to apply vowel harmony more regularly, especially for frequent words and those whose foreign origin is not apparent. For example, the words rahat and sanat take back vowel suffixes, even though they derive from Arabic tamar butha. Stress. Main stress occurs regularly on the last syllable of a word, except for forms including suffixes with inherent stress, adverbs, proper names, and some loan words such as masa, masa, locanta, locanta, and iskul, isil. The lexical exceptions in Turkish stress have have been important to linguistic theories of how phonological exceptions should be represented. Grammatically, regular final stress as stated above. Word final stress is the regular pattern in Turkish. The metrical weight of a syllable in terms of morass has no effect on the placement of stress in the regular pattern. Light syllables in Turkish are open syllables which consist of a single mora while heavy syllables have consonantal codas and consist of two morass. The regular pattern persists in derived words as well. Caesar stress. Proper names follow a different stress pattern, known in the linguistics literature as Caesar stress. In this lexical domain, stress occurs on the antipenult if the penult is light and the antipenult is heavy, and otherwise on the penult. The weight of the final syllable is irrelevant. Penultimate stress, anti-penultimate in HL sigma words, the Caesar stressed form, da, now would be expected to have the unattested form asterisk, a.
D nerve under the regular stress pattern. Thus, it can be seen that the regular and the Caesar pattern are contrasted. The Caesar stress pattern is productive in spite of it being observed on a smaller set of lexical items. Suffixed words that have the regular pattern can shift to the lexical class of place names. When these words are used as place names, the regular stress pattern shifts to the Caesar pattern. For instance the word tor, bl, tor barley has regular stress in its normal use, but when a place name it has Caesar stress, tor, bar, l. The Caesar stress pattern is completely regular, including for loan words whose source language version has a different stress pattern. That is, source stress is not preserved in Turkish. For example, the English word Arkansas has anti-penultimate stress, but the loan word in Turkish has penultimate stress. One approach to the metrical analysis of the Caesar pattern posits a general disyllabic iambic rhythm that is aligned with the right word edge with a restriction against having a non-final foot on a requirement that heavy syllables carry stress. Thus, the words with anti-penultimate stress have a rhythmic reversal to atroshi to prevent a heavy anti-penultimate syllable from not being stressed. That is an illicit asterisk sigma form stress and suffixation Turkish is usually considered a syllable timed language. Stressed and unstressed syllables do not differ greatly. Pitch and stress are very important in Turkish. The regular stress pattern occurs on words with a stem combined with suffixes. Here the stress is consistently word final and appears to shift rightward away from the stem His suffixes are concatenated. The above is not the case in stems with Caesar stress. Stems with Caesar stress retain the main stress of the underived form. Adverbs do not generally take final stress. Nere, nerid. Words ending with a personal predicative suffix are generally stressed on the preceding syllable. This stress pattern can be useful in disambiguating homographic words containing possessive suffixes of the plural suffix. Other suffixes which do not take stress are the interrogative and negative suffixes me and ma and the adverbial and adjectival suffixes la and ce, geldi me, yapma, busa etl krkce yanas. On the other hand, the verbal tense aspect mood morpheme is usually stressed, jelly yorum, gideras and in negated verbs. The stress typically falls on the syllable preceding the negation morpheme. Theme, gamidum, estame yorum in compounds. The first compound element retains its stress while the second element loses its stress. There are some exceptions to these stress rules, including diminutives, which have word initial troshi. In addition, n and adverbs differ in that they have non final right aligned troshi way to stress. Bibliography.